Hey, this is Scott with Slick Tripods, and today I'm going to show you how I choose the right shutter speed for catching wave motion. Right now, we just arrived underneath the pier in beautiful Huntington Beach, California. And before I ever set up my camera equipment, I'm just going to use my phone to find a composition that I like. I found the composition I like. Let's go ahead and set up the camera. So shameless plug guys, I'm using a slick tripod today. I've got the 834, it's a carbon fiber. I really like the legs on this thing. They're nice and thick and they're really gonna hold up once we get out in the water. Let's go ahead and get the shot. I set my ISO at 160 for low noise and aperture at F8 because I want everything in focus. The best shot I could get here was at 1 1 25th of a second. If I just slow my shutter speed down now, I'll blow out the shot without using a neutral density filter. I'm going to try and put on a neutral density and I'm going to use a 3 stop first and test it out. So with a 3 stop ND filter, I'm now at 1 30th of a second. You can see it getting better, but let's do the popular thing. Let's throw on a 10 stop filter. So as you can see, the 10 stop washes out the waves. I'm gonna dial it down to a six stop filter and see what that does. Here's an image with the six stop and I really like the way the water texture looks. So I'm gonna use the six stop and hit the waves. All right guys, now that we got the shot, let's go back to the studio and see what we got. All right, now that we're back in the studio, I went ahead and pulled up all four images. All four of these images have the same ISO and the same aperture. The only change is in the shutter speed. And as you can see, the six stop for me is the image that shows the best texture in the water, as well as that motion that I was really craving. The 10 stop is a little too washed out and the three stop didn't do enough. And so I'm gonna go ahead and edit the six stop image. Okay, here is the before and after. I just did some basic edits and I really like the way that this image turned out. Once again, this is Scott with Slick Tripods. Thanks so much for watching. If you like it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to check out the links in the description.